expert tips on how to fight gout attack. Gout is one of those things you hear about from time to time, yet most of us know so little about. First off, what is gout? Gout is basically joint inflammation in the ankle, wrist, elbow, knee, or more often than not, in the big toe. It's caused by high levels of uric acid in the blood, a condition called hyperuricemia. The intense pain it brings along can last for days, weeks, and even months on end. If left untreated, it can lead to joint deformities or even physical disability. Number 1. Get rid of excess weight The body produces more insulin when people are overweight or obese. If you have high levels of insulin in your body, it slows down the elimination of the uric acid that causes gout. So it's not only high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and cardiovascular disease you need to worry about when you have excess weight, but gout attacks as well. Where you carry your excess fat is important too. A 2015 study found that people with high levels of visceral fat are more likely to develop gout. Visceral fat is different in that it's found within the abdominal cavity and surrounds vital organs like the pancreas, intestines, and liver. This type of fat can cause major health problems if you don't get rid of it. Try to lose some weight to prevent gout attacks and other serious health implications associated with it. Number 2. Check your family history Genetics also plays a role here. If someone in your family has had gout, you do have a high risk of getting it too. Unfortunately, you can't do anything about this genetic predisposition except monitor your health closely. Number 3. It occurs differently in men and women. According to Dr. Alan Gelber, a rheumatologist at John Hopkins University Medical Center, gout occurs differently in men and women. It's the main cause of inflammatory arthritis for guys in their 30s and 40s, although men in their late 50s can also get it sometimes. As for the ladies, it's more common in postmenopausal women and in young women who have kidney problems. Number 4. Certain medications can trigger gout. Medications like diuretics or water pills, low-dose aspirin, immunosuppressants like cyclosporin and tacrolimus, as well as drugs containing salicylate have been found to trigger gout attacks. I know that's a lot of medical jargon to remember, so just ask your doctor first if a medicine you've been prescribed is known to trigger gout and if there are any other alternatives. Number 5. Certain health conditions can increase the risk of developing gout. They include high blood pressure, insulin resistance, diabetes, chronic kidney diseases, high cholesterol, cardiovascular diseases, and metabolic syndrome. As a rule of thumb, always consult your doctor first to find out if you're at risk of getting gout in case you have one of these medical problems. Number 6. Change your diet. Gout is historically known as the disease of kings, or the rich man's disease, because it's triggered by foods that only wealthy people could afford in the past, seafood and red meat. These foods contain lots of purines, which are chemicals that produce uric acid as a byproduct once they're broken down by the body. Cutting down on purine-rich foods and drinks will make a big difference in preventing gout attacks. These no-no products include alcohol, especially beer, and drinks sweetened with fructose, organ meats, meaning animal liver, kidneys, heart, and tongue, game meats, basically the animals you hunt, not ones raised on a farm, certain fish, like herring, sardines, trout, tuna, mackerel, and anchovies, other types of seafood and shellfish, including crab, lobster, oysters, mussels, shrimps, and scallops, mushrooms and asparagus, you can still have these products, but proceed with extreme caution. Consume them in very light moderation. It's still best to avoid them entirely, though. Number 7. Eat more foods that can help you manage gout attacks and pain. Changing your diet doesn't mean just cutting a bunch of bad foods out of it. Here are some products you should eat more of to prevent gout attacks. Cherries. Thanks to their antioxidant properties, cherries can lower uric acid in the blood. Researchers at Boston University found that eating cherries or taking cherry extract decreases the risk of having a gout attack by 35%. Water. 
Yep, drinking enough water doesn't just help keep you hydrated. Good old H2O also flushes uric acid out of your system, thus reducing its buildup on your joints and preventing gout attacks. Ginger. One study found that ginger, which is well known for its anti-inflammatory qualities, helps significantly with gout. You can either eat it as is or make a paste from it and apply it topically to the affected areas. Turmeric. Another superfood known for its amazing health benefits, including fighting inflammation, turmeric also has pain-relieving properties. Researchers at the School of Life Sciences at China's Nanjing University found that curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, can lower uric acid levels in the body. Besides turmeric, there are other therapeutic herbs that can reduce the pain, including rosemary, cinnamon, and Indian ginseng. Healthy fats. Yes, there is such a thing as healthy fats, and they include olives and olive oil, coconut and coconut oil, and avocados. They're important in that they help regulate insulin levels. Remember, too much insulin means too much uric acid. Krill oil, an animal-based omega-3 fatty acid, is a known anti-inflammatory that helps ease gout pain as well. Low purine foods. Replace your favorite high purine foods with low purine alternatives. They include peanut butter and nuts, eggs, potatoes, bread, rice, and pasta. Low-fat and fat-free dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt are also totally fine to consume. Number 8. Make use of natural remedies. Before you reach for those chemical drugs, why not give natural remedies a try? Rest and ice. When you're under attack, doctors recommend staying in bed and putting ice on the affected area. You may lessen the pain by removing any clothes on the joint that's flaring up. Cayenne cream. Also known as capsaicin cream, this ointment has anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties. Make sure to wash your hands before and after use because the heat the cream produces can cause a lot of irritation. And by all means, avoid touching your eyes and mouth when applying it. Boswellia. Sometimes called Indian frankincense, boswellia is an herbal extract that can be bought in resins, pills, or cream. It treats asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, and osteoarthritis. Boswellia can reduce stiffness in the joints, promote mobility, and improve overall joint health. Celery. Not the plant itself, but the seed extract can decrease excess uric acid in the body. Not to mention, its anti-inflammatory properties can cure urinary tract infections, joint pain, gout, and kidney and liver infections. Number 9. Be careful about exercising. This doesn't mean you shouldn't exercise at all. You absolutely should. Experts at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention say that adults should be physically active for at least two and a half hours per week. However, if you've got gout, there are certain safety precautions to keep in mind when it comes to exercise. Don't exercise when you feel that familiar pain in your joints. If you're having an attack, just take it easy. Remember, stay in bed and ice it. If after an hour of exercise you experience joint flare-ups, you'd better change your current workout or at least slow down a bit. It may be the cause of your attacks. Never try to plan your own exercise routines. Hire a personal trainer or physical therapist. Only a professional can help you prepare a workout plan that's safe for gout patients. Number 10. Some health warnings about using non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs for short, like aspirin or ibuprofen, may provide immediate relief to gout pain, but they're by no means harmless. This type of drug has been linked to serious kidney problems. Other potential side effects of using NSAIDs include heartburn, stomach ulcers, headaches and dizziness, allergic reactions, high blood pressure, and leg swelling. Always consult your doctor first before taking any sort of over-the-counter medications. 